What's going on over here? Shouldn't she be moving up? Yeah. Isn't that how a line works? Yeah. I don't like a big gap in the line. You want to feel like a line is moving. You don't... Otherwise, psychologically, it's bad, yeah. right? I'm, I'm languishing back here. Yeah. Maybe I'll say something. Don't. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, would you, could you, would you mind moving up on the line a bit? No, I'm good. Maybe just worry about yourself. Well, I mean, you're on the line. You have a responsibility as a person on the line to keep the line moving. And you're not holding up your end of the bargain. Would you tell somebody that was a white man to just move up? Yeah, in a second. Sure, of course. Oh, so this is racial? I'm is that what this is? Sir, you know what? I'm going to actually need you to get in the back of the line. What? Or, Are you kidding? Or you could leave. Oh, Thank you. Oh, back of the line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rachel? Oh, please. Come on. You're harassing her. Just get back. Could you do that? In 2020. 21. I'm so sorry about that. What did I do? I asked somebody to move up in line. <gasps> oh, I tapped her on the shoulder, and you would have thought I called her the N-word. She thought I was a racist. Everybody else thought I was a racist just because I asked her to move up. It's crazy. Mm, it is racist. What? Of course. Get out of here. Only a black person would tell another black person, and they move the fuck up. Oh, that's ridiculous. You out of your lane. You swerved out of your fucking lane. Stay in your lane. That's fucking racist. No, it's the opposite of racist. Treating someone differently because of the color of their skin, that's racist. What I did was anti-racist. No, no, no. It's not racism. It's audacity. You had the fucking audacity. You shouldn't be asked that lady to move up in your fucking white condition. Now, if I was with you, I would say, hey, sister, would you move the fuck up? And she oh, would so move yeah, up. So you would ask her. It's got to be black on black. But if I'm standing there and a white dude come up to me and tap my shoulder, hey, buddy, hey, pal, could you move up a little bit? I said, man, get the fuck out of my face. Is that right? I move and I'm fucking ready. Wow. Oh. Now, said person was a bald ass white man. You can't ask the bald guy to move up, but I can. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't say shit to him. But you go up there, they got something in common. So bald on bald. Bald on bald. Jew on Jew. Jew on Jew is cool too. Yeah. See? Mm hmm. Oh, that's the plumber. I gotta talk to him. All right, that's some bad news. You're gonna have to replace the whole filtration system top to bottom. What? Ouch! Seriously? I just did it three years ago. Well, usually warranties between three and ten years. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Where the fuck is the other seven years going at? I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know who you hired. It's a bad job, and if you don't fix it, there'll be flooding and even worse. Shit. All right, so um, when do you think you can do this by? Uh, by the end of the week. We'll figure something out. All right, I'll call you when the parts come in. Hmm. What are you doing? Something just ain't right, man. Let me go talk to this guy real quick. OK. Hey, Roto Ruder. Come on, man, what's going down here, man? What's really going down? Come on, man. We got to do something better than this, man. You can't come up here and throw that shit on us, man. My man, get that. All right. All right. You got me? I got you. I got you. Done and done. You good? What, what, what'd you say? I told him to stop fucking around. It's a $50 bow. I just set his ass straight. He was trying to fuck you with sandpaper. You understand? Hold it. So this whole job is getting done for $50? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK, first of all, thank you. But it's kind of sickening in a way that I can get gouged like that. They do that shit to you because you don't know no better. People are being taken advantage of all the time. You need somebody like me around who knows shit I'm gonna read through that bullshit. You know what you are? You're like a, you're like a house husband. Yeah, that's what the fuck I am. A person who's here to point out the bullshit. Oh my God, I got a great idea. <laughs> when my motherfucking eyebrows go up, I have some bullshit coming down. <laughs> what is it? Give it to me. A business called house husband. So people call you whenever they're in a situation where they could be taken advantage of by a mechanic, by a plumber, by an electrician, oh. and you save that person Tons of money. They need a motherfucker who knows a little bit about everything and a lot about nothing. They need a house husband. Fuck right. You know, it's a little sexist, the name, house yeah. husband, but right. listen, I would avail myself of it. Fuck I'm yeah. a guy. Love that idea. I fucking love it. Already fucking done. <laughs> it's just a little rattle, the whole transmission. OK, hold on. Leon! Leon! What's cracking? The mechanic is telling Cheryl she needs a new transmission. I think it's a job for house husband. House husband? Yes. That's right. He's got a new business called house husband. This is his job. I don't want you to go over there and get fucked. You understand? Cheryl's beautiful. You're a handsome ass devil. You're going to take advantage of your ass. 